thing we're gonna do to our evergreen is get right behind it. We want it to look like it is actually in snow. So give it kind of a wave and paint behind it. You don't want the snow to be up too far, just a little bit above where the end of the evergreen part is on your tree. And just be careful around your yarn, be careful around your tree. You can get your paintbrush in there pretty easily if you take your time. So that's what the snowy hill background should look like after you're done painting it. You can put your dirty brush in the bowl of water that's in your sink, give it three swirls, and let it rest to take a bath. And this would be your opportunity to go ahead and take a Q-tip if you need it still to get any of those spots that might have gotten scratched on your plate uh, with the popsicle stick. And I'm simply just covering them up with a snowflake. You can wrap your dirty Q-tip in a paper towel and throw it in your table trash can. And that artist's is a finished evergreen tree weaving inspired by the Native American Navajo weavers. Good job today, artists.